have a clear roadmap on virtualization. Probably the private cloud which we are talking about is by and large is actually creating that uh, virtual environment. If in our case, actually, we already virtualized 150 servers and another 200 is in the pipeline, actually, on a virtualization. A can be used in a much more uh, bigger way other than the sales side. We can even predict certain things. For example, uh, stock market is, you can, if you have a charting tool or on top of it, you can implement AI can bring stop loss, automatic stop loss and if you have constraints you set then the, you can build automatically intelligence to the transaction platform. There are a lot more things we can do in AI. So uh, we are also in the path of implementing certain things and also researching on, uh, on, on, uh, on AI. challenge is actually real innovation working with business quick deployment of application not that okay for example a clearing and settlement will take six months or those era has gone today the change has to happen instantaneously and customers expect business expect that kind of a change and ahead of competition that is actually something very important time to market is very important in in that spectrum if you look into uh, for example fintech they are actually really innovative and they don't have constraints of a traditional organization boundaries so organization, our parent organization, Geojit Financial Services, what we are thinking of is combining these two. One is actually knowledge base we have Geojit in Geojit Technologies and the agility and the disruption in the innovation provided by FinTech and consolidating these two and bringing something new quickly for the customers. Geojit as an organization and especially in the financial sector, there is a regulatory restriction because a lot of customer data, customer transaction, portfolio, their investment and uh, today you know uh, the new KYC is actually revealing a lot of information of the customer. Uh, so then if you are putting it in a private cloud, regulators actually put a lot of constraints on that and regulators have the rights to inspect your system and uh, then the private public cloud is still a question in your core business. But at the same time, if you make the uh, public and private in an hybrid environment, then it will be more efficient. One is actually, for example, uh, when you switch over to DR site, when something is happening, imagine uh, certain things are available in the cloud. It is a question of a connection from the cloud to two sites. So the core system will move and the, the all supplementary uh, and the associate system is in the cloud, which is not uh, eye catcher of uh, any regulator and it is a pub, uh, public information, then better to use the uh, public cloud infrastructure. Of course, uh, it has to have relevant security standards, it should be availability, it should be measured. So you should select the good provider with enough security, correct, uh, and you have to draw correct bandwidth to your corporate uh, data center and all, then uh, hybrid will be giving the efficient uh, mechanism to deliver value to the customer. We would like to position as a true digital organization. And this is uh, not only for our uh, digitization to exist in this space, in this business, there is no other go because new investors, they do not want traditional platforms. They do not want to make a call or they do not want to visit a branch. So they, we, that is what. Second is actually information now available everywhere. So today there is no value for real time price. So what exactly I can do? So I can give little more on that or more analysis what happened yesterday, what will happen tomorrow, extrapolating things and on a, as quickly as possible 
pro projecting into the screen so that they can take an informed decision. So that is change which we need to implement. Uh, the third thing is actually we need good technology uh, uh, partners. So we are using VMware. VMware is also in the virtualization environment our partner. So if you have a proper virtualization roadmap, I am sure that your workload can be really balanced. Instead of having multiple uh, totally disintegrated uh, machines and the network management, etc. So this virtualization will help us. Today, uh, actually, your IT budget and information security budget are more or less equal. It is not like buying a perimeter security device or something like that. More important in this particular area, especially in the financial services, educating internal and external customers on security. That is actually a continuous program. We need to communicate, for example, uh, your password, your two-factor, People may think that this two-factor authentication is a pain, but one single instance can create a big problem. So IES is information security uh, is very extremely important for us.